Hello everybody. The lock on my Generac standby generator does not seem to be working. The key's just rotating in it freely and it won't lock. The reason I'm thinking about locking this is because we just ended a four day outage and my neighbor's generator did not start found that somebody had stolen his battery and replaced it with another battery, hooked it in backwards and turned off his gas line, which is pretty bold. That's prompted me to think about locking my old unit up. And I noticed that the lock's not working, so let's dig into this and see if there's a fix for it. So the first thing you do is jump online and see if you can find the part. I need the Generac 0D3037. And in general, the prices seem to be in the $35 to $45 range. I decided that's way too much money for a plastic lock. I've removed the old lock. Here it is. Looks like just a standard off-the-shelf cam lock with this locking arm attached to it. So let me remove the locking arm. The way this lock works is this steel pin rides inside of this hole. So the steel pin goes up and down and engages through the holes of the, the handle body. Engages these holes right here. The way this lock is supposed to work is when you turn the key, this steel pin is supposed to move up and down. There's no spring involved. The end of the lock tumbler has some plastic on it and that plastic rides inside of this notch right here in the steel pin and when you rotate the key that little plastic uh, tab pushes the notch up or down to lock and unlock the little plastic tab looks like it's badly damaged some of the damage occurred when I tried to pull the pin out because I was not getting the pin to move up and down enough to be able to engage the locking holes so I figured the lock was shot. I lubed it and did all kinds of things to it, but it wasn't traveling far enough to really lock. So I knew that the lock was defective and wanted to see exactly how the mechanism worked. But down in this hole, you might be able to view that little tab there. And that tab is not centered on the axis of this lock. So by being off-center when you rotate it, it pushes the pin up and, and down. So that's broken, but I found a really, really simple solution. So after spending some time searching around online, I found this lock right here. I don't have a part number for it. I can't help you with that, but I can tell you that the brand is a Dirac, D-I-R-A-K. And the lock on the right appears to be an all-metal version of the original lock which is on the left. So this locking mechanism here is stainless steel. The body of the lock handle itself looks to be much heavier duty plastic. You can see this is solid plastic as opposed to this part which is not solid. You can see it's hollowed out. My all metal lock came with this locking arm the Generac locking arm it's going to fit on there perfectly. The locking pin on the new one is steel, just like the original locking pin was on my original lock. The lock body itself appears to be zinc casting. It is not magnetic. The only magnetic piece appears to be the steel pin. Magnetic on this one as well. The lock is stainless and the retaining screw on the end is just like the original. The body, the lock body, appears to be a zinc casting whereas on the original it's all plastic. I'm going to end up with a far superior product for less money. Incidentally I have an eBay store, I have a couple extra of these locks. So just search on U crew Y-U-C-R-E-W as the seller and you might be able to find me offering this lock for sale. So that's the idea. 
replace this all plastic lock on the left with an all metal version of the lock on the right. Reuse your locking arm or a latch hook. Transplant it from your old lock to the new lock, which you would have to do anyway if you were even buying a replacement plastic lock, and you'll be all set to go. So if this video helped you or you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.